In this video I'm going to show you how to do a, a double oven a full height corner cabinet in cabinet solutions. So I'm just going to start with a standard corner cabinet, select the base, change the height to 96, and place it in the corner. Right next to that base I'm going to place a standard uh, full height double oven cabinet. So uh, if I go to my elevation, right now the uh, corner cabinet, corner base cabinet still has the countertop and uh, it's just a standard uh, base corner cabinet except for the height change. So I want to customize this so I'm going to click it. This takes me to the cabinet editor. So I'm going to, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the countertop. So I go to cabinet standards countertops, remove top, done. Now I'm going to put a uh, top panel at the top of this cabinet because uh, I had my cabinet standard set up where I would have countertops but I wouldn't have top panels below that. So I'm going to go to construction methods, whoops, construction methods 2 and I'm going to turn on tops and bases, done to cabinet. Uh, okay, now if I go to view delete boards, rotate up, I, if I move my cursor over the top of the cabinet, I can see there's a top panel there now, where it used to be just a countertop. Now I'm going to delete this center rail here, so just to delete it, I just click it. Ask me if I'm sure. Yes. Done. So now I have a huge drawer opening. I'm going to go to openings and rollouts, change the and uh, click the opening, change it to single door, and I can put the hinges on left or right. I'll just accept. And now let's go back to the elevation. So I'll click done. If I compare these two cabinets, I can see that the standard uh, full height double oven cabinet that I'm uh, modeling my corner cabinet after has three openings. So I'm going to go back to my corner cabinet, click it, click on center rail. I'll go with the standard size and continue. Each time I click the opening it's going to add another center rail. Now I have my three openings. Uh, now I'm going to click done and go to openings and rollouts. The middle opening has the double oven so I'm going to click it, go to appliance opening, and go to double oven. Whoops, I passed it right there. And the bottom opening was a drawer, so I'm going to click it, change it to drawer, except. Now, I'm going to match the heights of the openings with the standard full height double oven cabinet. So I'm going to click on the standard double oven cabinet, go to openings and rollouts. As I hover over these different openings, I can read the height of the openings on the right side. So the top opening has a height of 29, middle has 44. That's all I need. So done, done. Corner cabinet, openings, top ones was 29. Click it, change the number from 29, accept. Middle one was 44, so I'll click it, change it to 44, and tell it to move the bottom side so it grows from the bottom. Except, yeah. Now if I go to the elevation, these cabinets are, uh, as far as opening sizes, they're the same. Opening heights. And that's how you do a double oven corner cabinet in Cabinet Solutions. Thanks for watching.